Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Saturday the 25th of April 2015 and uh, I've been doing further research into uh, Crow 777's Lunar Wave. I've been going through some of Crow's videos including uh, one of his videos called Nine Lunar Waves in brackets hologram uh, game change and in this video uh, he points to uh, this video by Defender of the Town called Moon Close-Up with 10 inch Mead Alex 200. If I scroll down, you can see that this video was uploaded by Defender of the Town on July 19, 2013. And if I scroll down further, you can see that Defender of the Town states anyone is welcome to use any of this footage. Now, first of all, we'll take a look at the Lunar Wave, so-called Lunar Wave and Defender of the Town's uh, video here. It comes in at about 1.24. It's pretty hard to see, but let's have a look. And there it goes. Now, in case you missed it, I'll just play that on half speed, bring it back, and we'll watch that again. There it goes. Very hard to see, but definitely there is a distortion. Now, if you've been watching my uh, previous videos, including the two very detailed videos that... Uh, Crow has had uh, removed or censored using false uh, DMCA copyright claims, uh, which have been appealed by the way. I'm just waiting for those videos to be uh, reinstated once the process uh, has been completed. Um, but if you've checked out those videos, you'll see that I've uh, pointed to aircraft as being one possible likely cause of uh, the so-called lunar wave. And I've shown how uh, aircraft wingtip vortices and the, the, the wake caused by aircraft can in fact cause these sort of um, uh, refraction, atmospheric refraction, which is exactly what I pointed to in, in my earlier videos where I talked about atmospheric layering. Now I'm not saying of course that all of the lunar waves are caused by aircraft necessarily, but I'm certainly saying that they are caused by atmospheric refraction local to the observer. Um, but there's another interesting thing uh, that we notice in this video if we turn the sound back on and uh, hopefully this won't be too loud when you play it back but what I encourage you to do is to go directly to this video Moon Close Up with 10 inch Mead LX200 by Defender of the Town and I'll put a link in the description area for you so that it's easy to find um, but have a listen to what we hear after uh, we see the lunar wave. Now I'll just step this forward a little bit because I know it's a bit further on and uh, let's have a listen to what we hear. Now, if, if I'm not mistaken, that was the drone of an aircraft that we could hear. I live very close to a regional airport, and uh, that certainly sounds like a, uh, a smaller aircraft. It certainly doesn't sound like a jet aircraft, um, but it sounds like an aircraft all the same. Um, it may not be the aircraft that caused the lunar wave in this case, but it also tells me that um, this observer, defender of the town, uh, likely lives nearby an airport and uh, maybe he can comment on that maybe he can confirm how far away he is from his local airport if he's near one um, now there's something else we're going to look at before we go and uh, again in previous videos I've pointed out that um, if we look at how big the moon is in the sky because we've, we've all seen these enormous moonrise videos and we we see the moon on the horizon and it, and it looks huge but actually, how big is the moon in the sky when we look at it? Well, the moon is half of one degree. So how big is that? It's that big, okay? That is how big the moon is in the sky. We've got 180 degrees. Half of one degree is that big. And as I've pointed out before, you can in fact view the full moon through a standard 8-inch drinking straw. Now, to make matters worse, when we're looking at um, videos such as this one here, and let's, if 
find where we can see the edge of the moon. You see the next problem? We're not even seeing all of the moon. So let's do a little experiment here. Here is a nice high resolution image of the full moon. And I'm going to layer in a screenshot from Defender of the Town's video of the moon that we saw in his video. Okay, so I'm just going to move this down here and I'm going to adjust the size of this image so that we can try and match it up against the edge of the moon. I think you can see the problem already. So it's pretty clear that um, although, you know, it looks pretty big when we're looking at the video here, it looks like the moon is very big. Um, what we're actually seeing is a very tiny little piece of the moon. And uh, it would be very easy, again, for an aircraft to fly right across the moon without actually being in the field of view of the telescope, thereby causing an apparent lunar wave without us seeing the aircraft. But we certainly seem to hear an aircraft in the video. Go and check it out for yourself. But again, this brings home the point that a lunar wave could be caused by a passing aircraft without being seen because it was outside of the field of view of the telescope. Very simple. And as I pointed out before, you can view the full moon through an 8-inch standard drinking straw because the full moon is only half of one degree in the sky. And if we're looking at even less of it, well, it's an even much smaller area that we're looking at. I'll be putting these different clips together in a longer, more detailed video. At this stage, it's easier for me to make a series of shorter videos and then put them together later on. And for those people who are complaining about why so many videos, it's because you ask for them. I've been... Um, questioned and asked for further proof and people demanding more evidence. So if you want to demand more evidence, don't complain when I upload the videos because that's what you're going to get. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. And please remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching.